daughter wants to do so he can be in an active role in her activities as well. At the moment, Celeste uh, enjoys hula dancing class, which is kind of out of Ryan's comfort zone. <laughs> But we are practicing. Interesting fact is Ryan met his wife, May, back in 1998 through love at AOL.com. So, yes, the internet has been a huge part of his life. Wow. Great. So, <clears throat> okay, thank you. <laughs> Woo! It has been a while since I presented to you guys. I think uh, back was like in uh, summer of last year. But uh, going around with the story of meeting my wife, true story here, 1997, I was single back then, so we were, you know, my, my cousins were all the same age, so, it's, you know, we would go to clubbing and we'd go to bars, but what we did was we went to uh, AOL chat rooms. There was a Tagalog chat room, I'm Filipino, so Tagalog is the Filipino language, and every Friday, or every, every night, we would be like, you know, we, we typed really fast and, you know, we learned how to do that because in the chat rooms, you'd be like, hey, how you doing? And you'd be talking in Tagalog, so you'd be creating that rapport, right? <laughs> and so, uh, I believe, I, every weekend, we had a new date. We, we met online, and uh, there were mostly Filipinos. Uh, we, we had a trip planned for uh, me and my family to uh, Canada, Vancouver, and three months before, I was in the Vancouver chat room. And when we arrived there, me and my family, a bunch of my friends came over and picked us up. And my parents were like, how'd you meet all these people? Oh, these are all my friends, you know. And they took us out, you know, there were girls too. So um, I had a date, you know, I had a date going to Vancouver, right? So internet, you know, and then when I met my wife, it was at love at it was, it was, she was the first ad that I saw. I, I, I ordered her online, that's my story. <laughs> I said, uh, 15 mile radius, Filipino Chinese. Uh, I even said nurse, you know, my mom's a nurse, right? And you know, between the age rate and she showed up and then I emailed her and she said, you know, she was there with another guy that were, they were trying to see who's gonna get the most responses. And uh, I guess my little introduction uh, got her attention, right? She thought my picture was really dorky, but she did, uh, she did email me back and we, uh, at that time we, uh, I remember I uh, chatted online, and then beepers came along, voicemail, right? And then we finally got to call Eyeball, which is to meet uh, them face to face, and we met each other at a coffee shop. And then from there, um, that's, that was history, right? And so it does work, so that's social media back in 1998. 97. So it, it is working, right? <laughs> so that's the same thing with my business, right? Or your businesses too. You're reaching out in the, so, in the internet world. And um, my, my, my topics today, I just want to go quickly, is my BNI experience. I'll be talking about that. Power partners, uh, best referrals for me, uh, cool, and cool website trends if we have time. Okay? So first of all, I want to thank BNI. I've been here for four years, going on five. And uh, someone brought me in, was one of my clients. And before I even came to BNI, I knew I was going to join already. Because I was a new business, I was a startup, and I needed a place where I could meet new people. And that was in a Manhattan Beach chapter. And since then, I joined this chapter oh, a year ago, more than a year ago, when it first started. I came in here ready to sign the paper. Because I knew, and I was worried back then, because I had to change venue, because I was meeting at 7 o'clock in the morning, and my kid, was in first grade, so I said, uh, you know, this is like a major source of my of my business, and I cannot lose BNI by not being able to make this chapter. And all chapters back then started at 7 a.m., so I was like, oh my gosh. And luckily, Lynn Humphrey at that time referred me that there's a new chapter joining at 12 o'clock, and I said, man, is there a web designer there? I'm in. So I came in here. If you guys remember, I already had my check in hand and everything. My first meeting. Uh, even before meeting anybody, right? Because I knew BNI. BNI has been 40% of my business in terms of revenue, believe it or not. And, and it's, it's, it's been really good to me, um, building the relationships we have here. And I met a lot of my friends in the Life Oasis. We're all BNI members. 50% of my new customers come from Google. So if you forget me or my, my number or, or my website address, just type in uh, web designer in Torrance. I'm number one. So all South Bay, we're creeping up all, all the time, you know, from El Segundo to to, uh, well, even in Texas, they found me. I don't know how, and I got a client in Texas. Number two is Way. So, you know, 
from DJ Way, for those of you not know Way, he's number two. And in the Life Oasis, I bet you is going to be number three, like very soon in a couple of weeks, as a web designer. Um, I've created about 225 websites so far in counting, and uh, Chris is here because he's also my partner in one of my uh, website um, kind of division. So he's also helping us out grow that business with website in five days. So you can make a website in five business days. So why do I do this? Um, I'm really an educator. My parents are both teachers. And I like to educate as well. Uh, I like to empower and inspire my clients. So when I sit down with my clients, that's what I do. And it just so happened that I just know websites. And I never had any formal training. I just did it on my own when I started back in 2001. So some of the true stories I've had was uh, remote control cars. I, I sold them in swap meets in 2001. And what I did differently was put it online. And I was selling 100 of them in a swap meet. By December of 2001, I was selling 100 of these a day. Um, power partners. Look for power partners such as search engine optimization people and social media marketers. Graphic designers. I was asking for graphic designers. So if you know anybody like, into graphic design, I brought you know, way in here. And then I brought Tim here as well because he's also IT. Uh, IT people work with computers all the time in businesses. Uh, videographers, when we first met Steve, me and Wei were like at his office, like interviewing him and telling him about BNI. So uh, video, video web is key. Most of my clients, I have a huge video on my homepage. That's what they see, and that's why they connect with me first. And that's what makes me different from other web designers out there, because I do have a video in front of me. What are my perfect referrals? Uh, brick and mortar stores. Uh, these are people that have maybe two or more employees. They're established. They have a website. And they do have an advertising budget online. They're three years in business, or they have a product online. But um, they need to improve that or sell that. And then, or, or they have a company, or, or a company that has a basic website. Uh, also, one of my, uh, I think one of our target right now, with, with especially with Quarter on board, is uh, restaurants. You know, it's changing right now where people want to really research your, your menu online and order online. So those are one of our target markets. Um, another thing that I do is startups. I do a lot of startups for business. About 25% of my new clients are startups. I have this really cool thing where it's a membership. So imagine if you have a message and you hide it behind your website where only members can get to it. So they pay you a membership. So if you want to get like some sort of uh, every, every month, you want to have like a members to, to get your ideas or to have your own show or like video show or anything like that with videos. That's a cool thing. We have this with this uh, system that we can implement into your website. Um, and, and videos too. I mean, video uh, series, you know, where, where, they, where, where they can get what, you, what they need from you, whether you're educating them or there's some sort of information or just get their email, but they have to register behind this member's website. Things to listen for. My website is outdated. I cannot update my website. I cannot find my current web designer. Uh, look for a business card that does not, does not have a website. I don't have a website, or I'm not getting any leads from my website, or I'm starting a new business, and my business is slow right now. Okay, Those are the things to listen for. The cost of my services, they have a, we have a free workshop at the Life Oasis, so it's free. So we teach on how you do it yourself website. So if someone asks you how much this guy costs, go to your free workshop. It's free. You can do it on your own. And then tomorrow, Wei is going to do a uh, do-it-yourself uh, search engine optimization and social media marketing as well. It's at 10 AM at the Life Oasis. We have a $99 one-pager setup. So that's 99 bucks. And then they have the website in five days, which is, starts at $649 with a $59 a month fee. So it's kind of leasing a car, and we help support you in your business. And then we have the 2,500 and above custom websites. So when someone calls me right now, I have a free, I have a 99, I have 649, I have a 2,500. If you don't fit in any of those categories, at least go to the free one. If they still don't do that, then that's not my client. I have 10 seconds, and that's all I have for now. Website works. I love the internet. That's how I met my family, and that's how I have you know, two children now. So I thank the internet for that. Thank you.